My next guest on the Notre Dame Hotline is David Bruton, Jr., former Fighting Irish defensive standout, and now with the Super Bowl champions, the Denver Broncos. He was a member of the class of 09, and he was back on campus this past weekend for the Blue Gold game, where he served as an honorary captain alongside his former Irish and Bronco teammate, Ryan Harris. David, welcome to Notre Dame game day. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back, knowing how, that was just a couple of years ago, 09. But for you now to be a lineman at Notre Dame, and then here you are as one of the best special teams players in the NFL and helping those Broncos win a Super Bowl, tell me about that transition. You know, it's, uh, it was a huge transition, you know. Um, but that's how I, got, how I got my start at Notre Dame, with Coach Weiss calling me out, uh, Telling me that hey, I was the first freshman that he was going to have uh, playing on on Saturday versus Pittsburgh um, my freshman year, and ever since then I've always taken special teams seriously because it's always opened up uh, doors, and opportunities, and multiple years here in the league for me to continue playing. So it's definitely something I take pride in, but not something that I limit myself to. Well, being a team captain, that means obviously you're very popular with your teammates, but you're also very popular in that Denver community thanks to your work with kids in that community. You were honored as the Broncos Man of the Year and nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Why is this work so important to you? Well, there's, it's a culmination of things, honestly. Um, with being uh, co continuously volunteering in church when I was younger, to volunteering um, as a teacher's assistant when I was in high school, to working at the Madison Center Hospital there in South Bend, Indiana, to the multiple volunteer works that uh, I've done with the Denver Broncos and c continue to see myself doing with the Washington Redskins and also um, substitute teaching during the NFL lockout. So it's definitely been a combination of things that has geared me towards uh, my my love towards education and helping, helping the youth. And that's definitely something that is very dear to me. I wanted to do something different that's not around, that's not football-based. I wanted to do something um on the educational side, and definitely literacy is truly important. And without being able to read, you won't be able to learn or have the potential to go to, to such a great university such as Notre Dame. I think that's the key that you brought it out. When you look at these youngsters today, knowing they have options, good options, bad options, but the option to get an education when you start young can lead you to where you can not only just get an opportunity to participate so as an athlete, but more importantly, to participate so that you got the credentials to win in the game of life? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, I'm a firm believer that um, you learn to read by the time you're in third grade and you read to learn um, from there on after. So uh, it's definitely a great skill to continue being better at science, math, reading the playbook, um, or, you know, reading your workout plan for the training that the guy was just uh, mentioning about uh, before me. You know, that's it. It's definitely something truly important. Well, now you've made a decision to leave the Broncos after winning that Super Bowl and take your talents to the Washington Redskins. What's that journey going to be about? You know, the journey is definitely different. Um, we've, uh, we're on week two of uh, workout programs, and it's, it's definitely been different. You know, Denver's been my home for, for seven seasons. It's definitely going to take some getting used to how things are ran, operated, and uh, adjusting for sure. But, you know, not the NFL is, is a business, so I had to make a business decision. But also, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to just limit myself to a special teams role. And, you know, I got a taste uh, to play a lot more last season, and that's my goal here in Washington is to be an every-down guy here for the Washington Redskins and showcase my talents and showcase why I was drafted into the NFL and why – I'm going on year eight in the NFL. Well, Denver's loss on and off the field would be Washington, D.C.'s and that whole metropolitan area, especially up to Baltimore, and get those kids focused to the game of life through education. But we want to wish you much success, and really thanks for being a part of our Notre Dame Day, and we wish you well. 